I'm Dan Martin, um, founder of Agua Luna. Um, we teach people do-it-yourself methods and self-sufficiency, renewable energy, alternative fuels, and natural building. Things like how to build a house with dirt, how to build, make biodiesel from fire, how to make ethanol from fruit, hydrogen from water, home-scale livestock management, scale poultry farming, aquaponics, or fish farming, hydroponics, how to build water turbines, and how to build wind turbines. probably know a little about the crazy guy in front of you talking. Uh, I was born in Detroit, grew up in northern Utah. Uh, at 17, I joined the military, and I was in Saudi Arabia during the first desert storm. I then went on to work for Boeing Aerospace, the Air Force, and finally Phantom Works, which is a research and development for NASA, Boeing's offspring. Uh, at about 25, I moved to Mexico. Um, got married, quit my job, cashed in all my investments and stock, and completely left society. When I said left society, I mean <coughs> literally didn't leave our driveway once in about a six year period. Um, now you're thinking this guy really is crazy. Yeah? <laughs> I've written and published over 40 do yourself guides on self sufficiency, everything from how to make food and energy to fuel and homes. I've hosted dozens of interns and volunteers, conducted over 30 workshops, seminars, and lectures like this one. Um, but for about the last few years, we've been doing private consultations or projects in needing countries. Why? Why leave a high-paying position with one of the largest corporations in the world, friends, family, society? Why leave it all behind? I can talk about oil shortages, chemical weapons, swine flu, bird flu, mad cow disease, anthrax, PTA meetings, <laughs> <laughs> economic collapse, crime, traffic, insurance, debt, mortgage, bills, taxes, and you know now that I think about it, it wasn't a hard decision after all. <laughs> Healthcare change, lines, Coca-Cola, border fences, floods, forest fires, mud mudflies, Earthquakes, hurricanes, blackouts, brownouts, depressions, recession. But in the end, it's just healthier, for whatever reason, you can choose one, to be self-sufficient and non-dependent on society, living a simpler life. The problem we have, especially as Americans, is overindulgence. We do too much, we eat too much, we want too much. Simple living isn't about living without. It's actually about living with. One in which you have determined what's enough or important and discarding the rest. Today I'll only be discussing the solar aspect of self-sufficiency. Real people installing real systems in real places. Hopefully that can clear up some misconceptions that you might have accrued along the way. I've been living 100% off the grid on solar and wind power for about 10 years now. The last four, I've been consulting others. When I'm called to a site, it's typically for one of three reasons. Either because the location doesn't have electrical access at all, the service is too expensive, or because they want to lower their monthly utility bills. All great reasons, but nobody has ever contacted me because they care about the planet or because they want to power their home with the sun. It's all about money. As Mr. Beam has stated in the past, the advancement in price of renewable energy technologies are directly proportional to the popularity and usage of those products, which is determined by oil prices. In other words, when the price of oil goes up, Agua Luna gets flooded with phone calls and emails. All of a sudden, everybody and their brother wants to be green. When the price of a barrel of oil goes down, I start doing lectures. <laughs> <laughs> The difference between someone like me and a retail solar provider is that I actually design the system specifically designed for the client's needs, whereas typically a retail provider 
installs a pre-made turnkey system. Pros and cons of turnkey system. Fast installation, <laughs> general labor, sell back to grid option, anyone can do it, easy maintenance, non-owner non involvement, cons. Generally, because it's pre-made, it's either oversized or undersized. Non-global availability, non-owner involvement, lack of fix system flexibility, high cost, and the retailer's lack of knowledge. Not personalized, lacking growing room, no battery bank during blackouts and brownouts. This is an important one. When you hook up to the grid, most electric companies require that you install a main disconnect, lockable main disconnect, on the exterior of your home. This is so that when there's a blackout or a brownout, the electrician can come to your home, shut off your solar system so that he doesn't get electrocuted working on the line. Great, but when there's a blackout, you're blacked out too. Even though you have solar power and it's a sunny day out, you have no power. Pros and cons of a custom system. Pros, correctly sized system, worldwide availability, owner involvement, system flexibility, cost, consultant's knowledge, sell back to grid option, personalization, growing room, and we have a batter bank during blackouts and brownouts. Cons, generally it's a slower installation, skilled labor is required, not everyone can do that themselves, generally more maintenance is required, and owner involvement is definitely required. Taking away all the pros and cons from each, though, it comes down to one thing. Current key systems are not available worldwide. They're only really available in a few countries. So it doesn't really make it an option for me 